Hello, my name is Lenka, the little girl with the curly brown hair and the long skirt. That's me. I came to Bratislava four years ago. Bratislava is the capital city of Slovakia. The pastel colored houses covered with snow and the town streets make the city very charming. For me, everything started here in this old, impressive building, the Comenius University. The university is named after Jan Amos Comenius, a Czech philosopher. I want to become a doctor, just like my mother. That's why I study medicine. I have to study hard, but I already made it to the fourth year, so the future looks promising. <laughs> when I have any difficulties, I ask my colleague students for help or I contact Elena Mendelova, she is the friendliest lady I know. Yes. When the classes are finished, I take the tram to the Druzhba student dormitory. Right in the front of the dormitory is the tram stop. But me, I always step out of the tram one stop further. Then I cross the tram rails, wait, step on the tram, and go one stop back. For many people, that seems very strange. For me, it's just a part of my daily routine. And that all because of some stairs. You need to take them to cross the busy street in the front of Druzhba dormitory. The dormitory is a very big square building with about 2,500 students, 450 rooms, three shops and two receptionists helping you day and night. I sleep in room 326. To get there, I take the elevator to the third floor. The bed with the white sheets, that's mine. The bed with the orange sheets, that's Martina's. And the third bed with the black sheets, it's Katrina's. It's obvious that Slovak people are very social, so never be afraid to come to Bratislava. To relax after a day of hard work, I like to read nice, interesting books. To release my creativity, I like to make drawings with pencil. I also exercise every evening on my home trainer. Afterwards, I go to bed to be fit for the next day. Oh, did I mention I have a disability? Osteogenesis imperfecta. I can't walk too well and have to be very careful. I tend to forget to tell that sometimes. <laughs>